Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep, the makers of premium in the box mattresses that arrive right at your doorstep. Helix Sleep makes it so simple to find a mattress that suits your needs. You just take the Helix Sleep quiz and enter your sleep position, your firmness preferences, your mattress size, and they will match you with a mattress to suit your needs. So simple and so easy. So my husband and I took the Helix Sleep quiz. I happen to be a side sleeper, he's a back sleeper, and we like a full-size mattress. And the sleep quiz matched us with the Helix Dusk Lux, which is such a treat to sleep on. I've had our mattress now for several months, and it's such a treat to have that plushy top, yet my back still feels supported. Compared to our old mattress, which we recently retired, we inherited it and it was just in, in desperate need of retirement. My kiddos also graduated to larger beds. They've grown out of their toddler beds and they feel so grown up in their new mattresses. And the Helix Quids match them up with the Midnight Lux, which they are just loving. And when I asked my kids the other night if they remembered their old beds, they said with some vagueness that they did, but it's as if they've been sleeping on these beds forever. Your Helix Sleep mattress will arrive at your doorstep in a cardboard box, which makes it really easy to maneuver. Free shipping is included. You can take it up narrow stairwells like I did, and you can install it yourself. You just unpack it, unroll it. So great, you don't even need any help installing your mattress. Helix Sleep mattresses also come with a 100 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. So if you'd like to try Helix Sleep mattresses for yourself, click the link down below to see how you can receive up to $200 off your mattress along with two free pillows. Big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. So today I'm gonna to be making bread that has an interesting technique that involves boiling the dough. That's what I saw on the thumbnail, I immediately clicked. And in fact, you boil the dough in water before you bake it. So initially you think perhaps that's a bit odd, but if you really think about it, it isn't because that's how bagels are made. You boil the bagels before you bake them. So I'm really intrigued to see how this will work for a loaf of bread. I've made bagels before, it works out beautifully, but this is not a bagel. So I found this recipe on YouTube. I will put a link down below to the original. The title says, you will no longer buy bread. There is no oven, unbelievably good. So first of all, there is an oven, there is baking involved, but it does look unbelievably good. And the only way we're really going to find out if this is true is if we make it. So let's go ahead and get started. The recipe amounts are in metric. So I'll include a link down below to my website, which has a handy dandy recipe converter. So it will have it in US volumetric. Alrighty, first we're gonna need 400 milliliters of warm milk. 10 grams of active dry yeast. This is different from instant yeast. 20 grams of sugar. And eight grams of salt. Whisk that together. Next, we're going to add 600 grams of all-purpose flour. This is a dough whisk. Love it very much. I'm gonna use my hands and start working everything together into a dough. If you're into bread baking at all, I highly recommend one of these, it's super handy. It's great for cleaning out the inside of your bowl. Great. And getting all that flour incorporated. Now we're adding 30 milliliters of vegetable oil. I'm gonna transfer this to my countertop now that most of the oil is incorporated. Like that, look at that, isn't it beautiful? We'll cover the dough, place this in a warm spot and let it rest for 45 minutes and then we'll come back and shape it. So here's our dough ball, it is doubled in size. So our yeast has been consuming and eating up that sugar and it has created CO2 gas, air bubbles, which is great. We're gonna remove some of that and now roll it up to form a log to cut it in half. Now we're gonna divide these 
into thirds. One piece of dough and we're going to roll it out five by six inches or so, roll it up. We're gonna carefully pinch the seam and make sure everything is nicely sealed, including the ends. Give it a little roll so it evens out a little bit. Good. Now I'm gonna place this on a parchment lined baking sheet. Alrighty, my lovelies, I've got a big pot here with about two inches of water that I've just brought up to a boil. Now we're going to place our dough right into the water. Boom. Boom. So wild. Boil them for two minutes. And we're going to turn them to make sure that they don't stick to each other. And then all the sides get poofed up. Look at that, they're expanding so much. 15 more seconds. Look at that. Wild. They look like pupa. They look like bee larva. So this recipe comes from a Turkish YouTube channel called Goze Yemek Tarifleri, and I will put a link down below to the original. Now we're gonna take a razor blade and score the tops of the dough. This will help with the expansion as it bakes. So now we're going to pop these into a preheated 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. All right, my lovelies, I am back. The bread is finished. This is what it looks like. Not too bad, huh? A little bit wrinkles on the surface. Look how well it toasted though. So evenly, I didn't have to put a glaze on it at all. Really impressed with how well and how evenly it browned. And this is what it looks like underneath. So I baked this in a convection oven. I baked it at 370 degrees Fahrenheit. It feels kind of moist. It feels kind of damp underneath, like especially down over here, it feels a little bit damp. See it swirling, not huge. Looks a little dense. The bottom feels kind of squishy. The top is crispy. Alrighty, let's give this a taste. Eat the lucky moss. Mm, it's not bad. It is moist. Mm -hmm. It's slightly dense though. It could be a little fluffier, I think. Mm -hmm. But tasty. The top is... Mm -hmm. I like the slight crispness on the top. I mean, it's freshly baked bread and it's hard to beat freshly baked bread. I will say the bottom portion of the bread seems a little bit almost damp while the top gets nice and crusty, which I appreciate. I think it could be a little bit fluffier it is nice and rich though, we have milk in there, but I am really impressed with how evenly it toasted up in the oven. In my opinion, I have baked better loaves of bread, but this recipe did come together relatively quickly. There's only one rise and it does have a very novel technique. And if this is the recipe that will get you into your kitchen baking bread, then I'm all for it. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to find out how you can get up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress along with two free pillows, click the link down below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Check out my website. I will include a printable recipe. And yeah, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.